And I found this. Oh, God! <laughs> Um, I've got news from Renault. They've got a new car. I've got a picture of it here. It's called the Influenza. This isn't it, uh, it isn't <laughs> called the Influenza. It's something a bit like that. Uh, it's electric, as you can see, because there it is, plugged in, recharging. And I was wondering, when in the future, when we're all driving electric cars, as they tell us we will, the cities are full of these charging points, hmm. won't... Ten-year-old boys just go around unplugging cars because that's what we would have done when I was ten. Oh, not until well, then. Do you have to be ten? Hard. Why wouldn't you do that age? I don't know, fifty-two. Well, what? <laughs> you would though, wouldn't you? If you saw somebody pies chug like you would just go. I just you would. I would. Why? It's the same. Why? Why? Remember Why the, would you remember do the that? early Fiat Panda? Yeah, the, the boxy one that Shishiro designed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I walked past one of those with a group of friends, he always picked it up and turned it round. So people would. Yes. <laughs> You could just kiss it ever since. I was going, no, how does that happen? In the same way that it's, it's always great fun to lock someone else's bicycle up with your bicycle lock. You're oh. just a yobbo! No, 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 it's a great game. Yeah, I mean, you've done, you must have done just throw a brick through their window. Or set fire they, to their shop. How big do you tell offers? You buy a whole lot of really, really cheap bicycle locks. The combination one. Yeah, it? and then just go along the street locking people's bikes up. Why would you do that? Because, because, because it's funny! No, but you do, <laughs> no, but it is because you do it, and then I did this with Robert Cook on York Station in 1978. If it was your bicycle, you'll know it was us. But you, you lock it up and then you hide behind some wheelie bins and wait for them to come back because they take their own lock off going, oh, yes, my bicycle's good, and they roll off and go, dunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't put that on there. People are watching. They're getting the idea. Yeah, but, no, no, well, don't do this, children, 10-year-olds and 52-year-olds, if you're watching. We're not condoning well, 52 year old children other people's <laughs> bicycles up. No, or, possibly... indeed, unplugging people's electric car because when they come back and find the range just says, two, it's not funny. <laughs> 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 We're not saying you should do that. No, you shouldn't. We're just saying you can do it. <laughs> One minute. 32.9. <laughs> It's a bad sign. Come on, what is it? And we're off. And it's been raining, but then it would do because it's England and it always rains. 37 degrees in Sydney today. Everyone's at the beach. There we go. First corner. English fella will probably make a mess of it. Mine's the stick. Oh, look, he's completely messed that up. Uh, I've got to call him Bruce just to keep it simple. Uh, proper Aussie music there, right into Chicago, right, he's hanging the arse out, you don't want to do that in England, never know what might happen. Uh, the police say they cannot enforce that law, and do you know why? They do not have the... <laughs> <laughs> they do not have the legal... <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for this now. The legal... Because they do not have the legal right to me measure children. <laughs> <laughs> to just measure them. Just say if you see a policeman measuring your children, you think, quick, call the... <laughs> <laughs> so they'll have to do what they usually do then and just put up some new sort of camera by the road to monitor children in no, class. To make no, sure no, you can't video children. Have you ever been to a school sports day? You have to ask every parent there before you're allowed to take the camera out of the boot. Or go to your own kid's sports day. Maybe they'll let you... <laughs> It is time to do the cool wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the cool wall was one of the major casualties in our fire. Uh, but we will persevere. Yes, we will. Yes. And we're going to kick off with this. <laughs> yes. It's. Uh, is it a golf? No, is that's more an line? alpha. I don't know, that headlamp, that, I think yeah, that's that is... an alpha. No, what, is I don't know. <laughs> what do you think that is? <laughs> it's an Audi. It's a figure. <laughs> How empty is your life <laughs> that you are able to determine that this is an Audi from that <laughs> photograph? <laughs> this isn't working. This, no, just, this is not working. Look, I mean, even if we could put them up, it won't be much of This it. just, it's ruined. The cool yeah. wall's ruined. Sorry. Um, when Vicky Butler Henderson burned the, uh, burned the cool wall, yeah. she thought she'd flummoxed us. But it doesn't matter, because we're going to move on to something else that isn't... But James yes. May hasn't been burned! Hurrah for that! No, actually, I'm fine. So May, yeah. which one's yours? Scania B94. It's, um, this is the sleeper cab, which has got the extra bit on the back where you can sleep. They also did it as a day cab, which didn't have that bit. So you couldn't sleep in it. Um, it's the. Uh, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> what 
colour is it, Jeffy? <laughs> what have you got then? A lorry. What sort? A big one. Well, clearly. James, yes, what I've just found in Hammond's box. Oh, his publicity pictures. What do you think? Okay, look at Late that. Late night love. Late night love on 96.3 <laughs> Cleveland FM with Richard Hammond. But look, this is one of 30 radio stations. Oh! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can see why he gets the job hosting crops. <laughs> Ready? Steady. Dog Tanyon. <laughs> hey? 50... <laughs> <laughs> I misread that at first. Fifteen thousand. Yeah, and nine hundred and fifty pounds and fifty-nine pence. Yes, fifteen thousand nine hundred pounds for a service. Is that... There was quite a lot needed doing, if I'm honest. Well, what I did mean... you do? Buy you a golf? <laughs> <laughs> Great news. What? The days. <laughs> <laughs> they know what it is. <laughs> The Dacia Sandero has gone on sale in left-hand drive market. <laughs> nice. Now... <laughs> Jeremy, can I just say, this is the biggest entertainment I've had on a road journey in my whole life. It's absolutely hilarious. <laughs>